of us here in the Twin States, ski season is only a few short months away. One local teenager has been skiing all summer without skis. News, News 31's Mike McCune has a story. Meet Keith St. Ange. He's 19 years old. He's the best barefoot water skier in the country. This Berlin, New Hampshire resident has taken his exciting sport by storm in the past year, winning some of its highest honors. But if you didn't know barefoot was a sport, don't worry. He feels his sport's extreme nature will open people's eyes. Basically, it's just an extreme sport. I mean, it's just you're skimming across the water at 47 miles an hour on your feet, and the falls can be hard sometimes, but I think uh, that's why not so many people do it. It's just an extreme sport. It's hard, and it's fun. In the past three months, have been very busy for Keith. He started summer training in Montana, competing in the X Games in San Diego. Then he won the Canadian Open in Edmonton, placed second in the U.S. Open in Houston, and then won three gold medals, including the overall at the Nationals in Houston. And this April, he's going to be one of only four men representing the United States the World Championships in Sydney, Australia. But despite his success and his busy schedule, Keith always makes it back home to his parents' cabin on Lake Umbega, where he first learned to ski at age nine where you can always count on the love and support of his friends and family. At the beginning, everybody used to tell me how good he was. He was a little natural, but I really never thought that he'd go so far with it. It always brought, like, tears to my eyes when I'd see him out there enjoying it and seeing how hard he worked. And it's just, it's just been great. And now that he's at the top of his sport, what are Keith's plans for the future? I plan on going for and making a career out of it. Um, instructing and it takes time takes patience and there's a lot of traveling involved but i mean i enjoy the sport so much i think i think i'm just going to go all the way with it with his confidence and his ability you get the feeling that whatever the future holds for keith he'll land on his feet on lake room bay new hampshire mike McHugh, news 31.